welcome back to my channel so today i am going to be showing you guys some swatches of the wholesale acrylic i got from alibaba um this is probably not going to be a voiceover i'm just kicking it with y'all um yeah i'm going to try to do as many as i can i'm going to do some on the swatch stick and then i'm going to do some um just on a napkin just because i have about 300 350 of them and there's no way i'm going to get done all of them in one video so i'm going to probably do like 20 25 of them right now and if you guys like these type of videos i'll do a part two three and so on so yeah let's hop into some of the acrylics i got from alibaba all right before i hop into the video i did want to show you guys some swatches that i previously did in case i miss any of these shades here but i separated these shades these are the shades that i like more than others so you'll probably see me swatch some of these in a the video but i'm just giving you an overview of what some of them look like and then these are the shades from the same seller that i was just like on the fence about that i wasn't too crazy about some of them marbled um there were like two here that i did like and that's the glitter in the blue but yeah i just wanted to separate it um on different swatch sticks so i know which ones i liked and which ones i didn't now we can hop into the video so i'm gonna put down this little ziploc bag here just so that it can ca capture the monomer so i don't have to keep changing my napkin underneath um like i said this is not a well put together video this is just me being me um if you've been following me for a while you know i'm not cookie cutter like i just like to make videos and pop them up without all the extra stuff so here in front of me i have like i said like 20 um acrylic powders let's get some monomer i am going to be using young nail monomer today i prefer to use me a secret but i have so many bottles of the um young nail that i'm trying to go through and i will be using my size 14 yes sir i think that's how you pronounce that brand brush that i got from amazon you guys always ask about this brush i will link it down below and i will add it to my amazon store if i remember so this um particular set of acrylics that i have here is from one seller i know i told you guys in my intro i have about three 350 acrylics they are all from different sellers because i was looking for a seller to get my acrylic powders from so um yeah I'm going to hop into the white first. This uh, company here is by far one of my favorites. Um, I have not found a company that I prefer to get all my acrylic powders from, which sucks. So that's why I'm constantly ordering different samples. Um, I will give you guys some tips if you are looking to, by the way, this is white. I will give you guys some tips if you are looking to get your own um, powder. I will say that what you see on Alibaba as far as um, pictures and videos are concerned is false advertisement. A lot of times they go on Instagram and they take videos, then it's not their acrylic powder. And two, the pictures don't be theirs. And three, when you get your samples or whatever in the mail, it's a totally different um, powder. This company here has some bomb ass powders. I will say that. Don't get it twisted. There was some duds in their sample collection I got from them, but for the majority, like 95% of them were nice, but they were more on the expensive side. And I do see why these are very beginner friendly and they blend like butter. I'm not gonna worry about going in and doing another um, another bead to thicken it up because it's just a swatch shake so this is the white i think that is beautiful a lot of times too they steal each other um pictures like you'll search for a you'll you'll search for a uh powder and you'll go to different sellers and the same different sellers will have the same video or the same pictures um let me try to mix them up you know you should always stir your powders oh i'm picking that back up you should always stir your powder all right so that was white very beginner friendly you can mold these and do 
just about whatever you want. I think out of all the powders that I got from this brand, maybe, you know, a few marble. And I think this color here was one of the colors that marble. Nonetheless, it still um, worked really well, but I wouldn't want it if, I mean, I wouldn't get this one. That's why I like doing voiceovers because when I pause when I'm talking and I'm doing something, it's not as distracting. I will put a little bit more of this shade on so you guys can see and sit it there and voila, I think it still did marble. But that's what that one looks like. Or These cover powders are really, 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 really good. Um... Yeah, they're really good. You see how you can just, bam, go on here and basically mold this into what you want. The bead does the work for you. I'm not going to swatch all of these on a stick, but I did want you guys to see um, how they perform. Really pretty color. Gorgeous. That is a cover powder. Here's another pink shade. I'm sorry, my camera is moving. Really pretty color. I do have a video coming up where I actually used um, some of these samples as the application for the nail. So be on the lookout for that. Again, I am going in with thin beads because I don't want to waste the powder. I am still using them and, you know, testing them out. But this is really pretty color my dislike i have for some of the powders that i test is that they are too thin um and sometimes you will get that if it is a two-in-one powder the powder will be finely milled um so be mindful of that i got a little glitter in here but yeah i like to um I like to be able to mold my powder. Sometimes powders you use, you put them on, you put your bead on there and then they just straight lock up on you. I don't have time for that. So that's what that one looks like. Next, this shade is like a nude, um, a nude cover powder. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, this is nude. A nude shade, really? Pretty. I should have picked up more. Again, really pretty color, but I think some of these are thin just because they are um, a two-in-one powder. Definitely a pretty color. This next shade is also another purple shade. Again, pretty powder. I just think these are um, thin. Oh, this is one of the powders that marble a little. So 
So that's what that one looks like. Really pretty color. So these are the colors that I swatched so far. The rest of them I think I'm just going to do on a napkin just so that I can do at least 20, 25 of them. Um, I'll make sure all of them that I'm swatching are from the same seller. It's this pretty like toffee like color and that is what it looks like. Really pretty. I know napkin swatches suck, so don't come for me in the comments. I'm just trying to show you guys as many as I can in one video. Because doing it the other way will take a very long time. This right here um, is a cover powder as well. I'm going to go in for a nice size bead. And... Like a pink peachy color. This next shade is Milky White, which was another one that I really love from this uh, company. I do love their white and I love their Milky White and their clear was phenomenal. So this is the Milky White, really, really pretty smooth buttery um and here is another nude i'll try to get into the darker colors after the nudes i just didn't want to mess the monomer up this is another pretty one um this is one i feel like i'm definitely going to get it look beautiful on the nail and it blends really good. That has like a glitter reflect in it. Let me show you. Really pretty. All right, let me see what else I have down here. I do have a ton more um, nudes by this brand. Probably like 20, 25 more nudes by them. But I don't want to bore you guys with the nudes. I will get into a little bit of color that I got from this brand. There are a lot of blues that I got from this company also. Um, so let's start with one of the blues. Here I got a blue that is like a light blue. And again, when I order samples, if the company has 15 blues, I do order all 15 of the blues just because I wanna be able to um, swatch them all to see which ones I wanted. So that blue right there um, is pretty, but it wasn't one that I was like extremely crazy about. Um, and then I have another blue here that I show you guys. I like these acrylics, but it's not enough for me to just pick this as my wholesaler. So whenever I do come out with acrylic powder, I do want you guys to know I really did take my time and actually learn the powders and you know make sure they were good powders because some of these powders i have been collecting since like last year sometime i was going to come out with powders but i just i don't think it's the right time um i want all my powders to be like oh her powders are nice and i want to be able to use them in all of my videos if i wanted to this swatch really pretty. It's like a sky blue color. Blues, I think, are really hard to do. That's what that looked like. Blues are hard to get right in acrylic. A little. Blues are hard to get right in acrylic powder, I think, personally. Um, blues and purples. And here is another. To be honest with y'all, I compare, oh, this is a beautiful blue. Yeah, this was the one I was like, oh, this is a pretty blue. I compare all the blue acrylic powders I get to one acrylic powder I got from iGel Beauty. Yes, iGel Beauty. I know y'all probably like, girl, don't sleep on iGel Beauty. They do have some good powders. Um, you just have to know which ones to buy. Watch a few videos of people doing swatches. I'll show y'all what that eye gel beauty powder 
look like. And here is another blue that I thought was pretty. I will have to say out of all the blues that I just swatched right there, only one I would be interested in getting if I was to get it. And it would be that blue right there. But let me show y'all the eye gel. It's electric blue DD69. Um, so when I'm looking for a blue to add to my line, it has to be like this or better. Bam, do y'all see the pigment on it? Do you see? This is a good blue. So if you are picking something up from Igel Beauty, I would definitely pick that up. All right, so then I did pick up a red from this brand. And... This is what it looks like. And I, I do think the red is pretty, but it's not given like, oh, I need to have that. So this company here, I don't know if I would be ordering from them. I do have like 50 to 60 more from just this brand alone, but I don't want this video to be long. I will say again, if you are looking to buy samples be careful sometimes the samples you get are not what you get when you get your product wholesale um and again do not view a do not never order without getting samples one two you cannot trust the reviews because since i've been ordering wholesale powders i'm sorry y'all i was trying to put this up since i've been ordering wholesale powders uh, from different companies i do get um emails with companies asking me can they send me free samples and then i leave um review on their alibaba so just be careful because some the reviews all of them are not legit reviews um you notice if you are searching for acrylic powder and you go in there and they have no reviews it's because they have probably got so many negative reviews that they took the initial posting down that they were selling acrylic on and put a new one up so um i'll go into more detail about buying wholesale acrylic powder if you have any questions down below um i'm not gonna list the sellers that i'm personally sampling from just because it may be my wholesaler however if you are interested in purchasing from a wholesaler and you have that wholesaler in mind and you want to send me their information and ask me did i order from and what i what do I think of their powders or whatever case may be? Yes, I will answer those type of questions. But yeah, let me know if y'all want to see part two. I might even have a part two, three, and four. I have so many of the powders. Um, yeah, so this one right here, not bad. As y'all can see, look how pretty this white dried down. Gorgeous. Um, the pink. Gorgeous. I do have thin layers of the acrylic powder on there only because... Like I said, I didn't want to waste the powder, but these are gorgeous. I'm not even going to hold you. These are good powders. Um, so, yeah, that's it. This was like a really short, cute video. I hope you guys don't mind that it was all over the place. But um, if you want to see part two, comment down below, and I will check you guys out in my next video. Bye.